Have you ever pondered about where did we as a species come from? What are our roots? These questions have tickled the curiosity of humans for centuries, leading us to delve deep into the origins of humankind. The story of our existence begins in the vast landscapes of Africa, where the earliest human fossils were discovered. These relics of the past, dating back to approximately two and a half million years, provide intriguing insights into our ancient ancestors. Each fossil, each bone fragment, is a piece of a complex puzzle, revealing the intricate tapestry of human evolution. They provide a glimpse into a time when the Earth was a very different place, inhabited by creatures that would eventually shape the course of life as we know it. As we embark on this journey through the annals of prehistory, remember, every discovery is a step closer to understanding ourselves. Our journey begins with the earliest known species to bear the genus Homo, Homo habilis. Two species that have left remarkable imprints on our evolutionary timeline are Homo habilis and Homo erectus. But how do they differ? Let's start with Homo habilis, also known as Handyman, who roamed the Earth nearly two million years ago. This species was shorter, with longer arms and a smaller brain compared to us. Their claim to fame? The first to use tools, making them a significant stepping stone in our evolutionary path. Now, enter Homo erectus, literally the upright man, who emerged almost a million years later. Taller with a larger brain and more human-like features, Homo erectus was the first of our ancestors to leave Africa and spread across the globe. They were also adept at crafting complex tools and possibly even harnessed the power of fire. These differences in physical attributes, lifestyle and tool use played pivotal roles in shaping the course of human evolution, setting the stage for the sophisticated beings we are today. Despite their differences, these two species shared the Earth for nearly half a million years. Imagine two different species of humans coexisting. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's not. Now picture this, our early human ancestors, Homo habilis and Homo erectus, roaming the same territories, perhaps even crossing paths. This remarkable coexistence is not a figment of fantasy, but a fascinating chapter in our evolutionary history. Homo habilis, the handyman, and Homo erectus, the upright man, were two distinct species, each with their unique traits. Yet they shared the earth for several hundred thousand years. Imagine the interactions, the exchange of knowledge, the competition for resources. It's like an ancient drama played out on the savannas of Africa. The coexistence of these two species may have propelled human evolution forward. Theories suggest that the competition between them could have spurred innovation and adaptation, shaping our journey as a species. This coexistence ended with the extinction of Homo habilis, but their legacy lived on. Even as we stride into the future, we carry a part of our past with us. So how did we come to know about these ancient species? Let's unravel the mysteries of discovery. The tale of Homo habilis and Homo erectus unraveled through the diligent work of archaeologists, who unearthed key fossils that gave us clues about our ancestors. In the mid-20th century, the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania became a hotbed for such discoveries. It was here that the first Homo habilis fossils were found. Around the same time, in Java and China, Homo erectus fossils were being unearthed. These groundbreaking discoveries gave us a glimpse into our past, helping us understand our evolutionary journey. But it wasn't just about discovering fossils. It was about decoding them, studying their intricate details to understand how these species lived, adapted, and eventually evolved. The conversion of humanity, the move from Homo habilis to Homo erectus, and then to us, Homo sapiens, is a testament to evolution's transformative power. As we reflect on our past, we realize how far we've come, and yet how much of us remains rooted in these ancient beginnings.